What's up guys, this is the Rifle Minute and I am back bringing you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Russia. So just to let you guys know something, um, due to a snafu where I decided to close the game without saving my progress, um, even on my... Well, I, 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 I ended the game without saving my progress and then started playing something else, like another campaign, so I lost my autosave position. So things aren't exactly the way they were before, but they're pretty, pretty darn close. Um, so that's the, that's the hope. So expect things to be maybe a bit different in terms of locations and directions and things like that, but generally things are quite close, I think. Still got this Indian front, still have um, Naroon and this Indian front set up, and I'm still defending up towards Kabul. And this army is hot on the heels of... Ooh. So... I move no I don't want to move them in I want them here just out of their engagement area but close enough so that I can respond if needed one thing I may do is temporarily pull back two units of militia and replace some Indian mercenaries to get more muskets on the line I think that'd be a good idea um, so construction commercial port being built let's Actually, firstly, let's go back to Moscow. Look at this. My general, who may or may not be the same general. Um, he is in position. Ooh, 32-pounder. Okay, so let's get these howitzers out. Aha. Get those two units of artillery in. Get those two units of line infantry guards in. Then let's get... Maybe not the two of those. Can I, make, can I have ten? Oh, I can do that. I think that would be pretty cool. So then here, let's get them out. Firstly, how happy are you? Still, Clamour for Reform is still going up. And I have no villages. So it's only a matter of time before they start just being super unhappy and rebel. Firstly, naval board, ordnance board, so I can start up tiering research because I'm getting to the point where I'd like to have a navy, a proper navy. Oh, let's upgrade this fur exchange. Let's check on this army's all still put together. It's quite a strong little army there, actually. I presume my idea then was to ah, so this might be where I'm where I'm at. Might have to fight this battle again, um, which I hope is okay. Um, <laughs> well, actually, those two howitzers down here that aren't doing anything now. You work your way up to here. Then I'll send this army to attack somewhere. Not sure where. Then India. How are things going? Let's just do a quick little infrastructure search. The first place there we go. So it was always me the first place I can find that doesn't have metal roads. Let's do a quick look to make sure I'm taxing people. Every so often you've got to do these kind of checks because sometimes as you're advancing you'll just exempt a region from tax and all you'll see is the, the happiness bonus and then you don't seem to remember. Cool. Yeah, I'd like to get. I'd like to up tier my ships because I'm recruiting. I'm getting about twenty thousand ish a turn. Yeah, and I'm getting loads of it from trade. Loads of it just other goods and other goods and long term trade partner bonuses. Because I don't, I don't actually produce that much stuff. So the hope is, as I push down into India, I'll start capturing these plantations and mines, and well, they're right there. It's a tea plantation, tea warehouse at Ahmedabad, at Gujarat. Excellent. This is the trouble. I can't recruit. Russia is all so far away. So if I recruit an army up here in Moscow, like this army, I want to send down to India. So the fastest route is probably to get him to run all the way down to this port and then ship them by sea over to Naroon. That's the fastest route. Balukistan, you're converting. One, two more turns, and then I'll ship you off onto 
towards Neroon, because Neroon is pretty happy, just because there's a massive army sat inside. My little local fleet, my small fleet's down here. This could be where another big fight erupts, depending on what direction they go. Because I don't think they can run all the way to Kabul. Let's find out. Ah, there's my minister. That's my raiding army. Just taking up and taking up a position. Yeah, I need to. F oh, so I need to focus. Well, focus on. I want to get my research down the artillery line as fast as possible to get quick lime, quick lime and shrapnel to deal with Indian hordes. And then at the same time, I'd also like to be going hard down the navy route so I can build better ships and they'll be more equipped and have better better guns and things like that. Too far behind the naval route, I think. Like right now, I'm doing an okay job at holding off the um, the Swedes. Ah, trying the old loopy loop, eh? Oh God, yep, that's that's how the Mughal Empire makes war. This is why I need a strong navy. See, look at that! Look, you just try to run around. Um, yes. A nice, quick advantage of these opportunities because they will ha If you don't, there will suddenly be a stack on the horizon reinforced by these small dribs and drabs armies, but it just becomes a problem of quant a problem of quantity. Like, you will start getting line infantry units running out of ammunition, so they become by default melee units that you just charge in and just kind of... Okay, so they're going to attack me. So one, two artillery, three, so one, two, three, four, four in the, ooh, maybe not four, I'm actually deploying individually to make sure I get the right amount of firepower. Together. Yeah, that's all of them. Good. Put a unit of line infantry on each wing to protect my guns. Put a hand mortar company on one side of them. With a militia unit. Then let's put a tiny grenadier unit and a tiny hand mortar unit next to each other backed up by a militia unit on horse guard on one flank lancers on the other general in the center and howitzers good Whew, good job I remember them so one howitzer up here And then one how it's uh, here. I want to maximize my artillery fire. are up as well although they are they are pushing towards one flank in particular so limber them up and then start pivot
Mission Cavalry, they are Missile Cavalry, I believe. Hit him. I suppose that final, that initial volley was just devastating. Fire at that unit of dervishes! Get stuck in. Well, if they want to retreat already, then sure. Everyone push forward, there's no reason not to. Let's turn off my artillery. to hit. Alright, you need to get involved in this combat as well. Get stuck into them. Just tag them. Just tag them. Tagged. That unit of artillery, malicious chasing them down.
Good, Garda Cheval. Get the hell out of there. Chase down. Chase down someone. Lancers are over here. Oh, I'll do a better job than that. Come on. Ever so sl Go on. Ah, I think I'm not. I'm not going to get as many kills of them as I would like. Right. Swarm the cannibal gunners. Let's just continue the slaughter of the camel gunners. Oh, they're gonna make it! They're gonna make it! Dang! Oh, managed to get a reasonable catch on that army, but I don't think the loss ratio is too much. Well, it's four to one. Need to do better than that when the rest of the armies come marching in. But that is why you build walls. Build walls, and then as someone rightly said, um, if I'm going to hunker down inside a fort, I need to build mortars, more mortars and more artillery than I normally do. There is a fort in this region. Ah, they it sabotaged my developed. building. So build that port, let's... Yeah, I thought you. I thought as much. If I sit there, there we go. Grand Opera House, good. Iron Masters works, good. I'll just build that just to get more money. Your build, your build, your build. Dockyards in Anatolia. Kabul requires a governor's mansion. So I'm going to run over here. I'm going to run this army over here. And you are going to attack. It should be pretty devastating. Lots of artillery, solid troops. Lots of cavalry, actually. Four cavalry and two desert nomads. Let's see if I can make a bit more, uh, a bit more finessed in this fight. Push them back across the river. And this, the reason why I positioned that second army close was to chase them down and maybe end them with a quick auto resolve. If I'm particularly destructive. Um, in this battle. Right. Ooh, I've got a lot of cavalry and not as much infantry as I would like. So I'm positioning like this, assuming I'm going to, well... I'm going to assume they're going to be over towards the right, so I want more support on the right than on the left. So if you, you, and have a hand more company just for fun. Then a militia on the left. With a, my regular militia. Two cav on the left. Two desert gunners on the right. Cool.
Uh, should have unlimbered actually, just let them have a get a few pot shots off. Just to soften them up. I mean, I am attacking, but it doesn't necessarily mean that. Ooh. You may as well unlimber there. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> oh, already. Oh, General got killed by collateral damage from destroying the... From destroying the... Uh, the artillery. If you're clearing your militia, you need to spread out so you can maximise the level of the amount of guns. The mortars are up and going. wasn't up to snuff with trying to keep my camel gunners in position. Hmm. Some more camel gunners coming up to play. So they didn't collaterally damage my troops than they needed to be. More than they needed to be. Don't chase after them, man, need guns. See what these shells are like, what they do. Eh, yeah, that's pretty good. You run the hell back and you can to shot the hell out of those Gurkhas. Because Gurkhas are very, very good in close combat.
So my cavalry don't have to knock out that unit of dervishes. Right, cavalry from the right. Bowmen. Run my hand mortars up for the bant. For the bants. Oh, you're going to be sorry in a minute. That's the front rank. Third rank. Fall back to reload. Cavalry back because they've got super keen. Could lose a lot of troops in collateral damage here. Don't just stand still, horses. I've said run. Look, they're just standing there. They've got the reward, but they're just saying run. Get one volley off and then run. These camels are not working out for me. They run straight out of the moor, company. If they want to chase me, they can chase me. Deploy my cavalry. Be being wary of this la no. Oh, they ran away. Good. Islamic swordsman. Camels have come back. Huh. 
hunt down that mortar crew. It's always a good decision. Keep an eye on them though, because the bowmen run straight into the bows. Two more as redirect onto the unit of Islamic swordsmen, so I'm not going to let... Gurkhas, that's what I want to kill. Gurkhas. The reinforcements. I remember now. Let's just get you back. Are these guys to continue to chop their way through because they might actually kill them. Go on, General. Slice up some Islamic swordsmen. Oh, and I missed the... Uh... Damn. Fire on that unit of bows. Playing... I'm being a bit... Risky at the minute with this. Yeah, doing a really good job. I see now they're fleeing over towards their mates. So in which case, bring them back. Musketeers coming in. Unit of artillery. Charge the light cav into the bows. Redirect my mortar fire onto that unit of dervishes. Jump! Ah, so are they. Who's firing on to them? Is it you guys? Union Musketeers is going to come for him. Yeah, let's just get them back. I think my general will actually do it. Oh, 
sit there actually, you're not doing any damage there. No, I need to send I need to bring them back so the AI doesn't aggro on them and chase them around the battlefield so that they will actually attack me. General just got rid of a level three, yeah, level three unit of mercenaries all by itself. Okay, let's just get the goats to the camels, sorry, to just go straight for the artillery. Then let's just position these guys to be ready when these musketeer units break. Well, that's, that little lump's causing a bit of a defilade. Still, getting some good shots on target. Now go for the cavalry. They've almost engaged. Send my hand mortars up to skirmish. Well, skirmish. Yeah. <laughs> Could go horribly wrong, but I'm keen to see it. Interesting to see of how well a, a single grenadine unit does against. Not very well, I imagine. Very well, apparently. Stay on them. Where's my unit of cavalry? Get on them. And every that's it. Everyone get in. General, deploy. You. Deploy, deploy. You. Deploy. If he's lagged out, not lagged out, but if he's just not working correctly, then I will just do... There you go, just let them load and fire in their own time. Which is a long time. <laughs> okay, they will just keep pouring fire into it. Cool. Just let them do that. Slice into the dervishes. Why are, you off to, why are you running over there to get this guy? I 
Because over there, you should be clearing them out. See, like, look at that. But at least you're they're chasing them back into the middle. See, why are you... Look, there must be, like, one guy over there. Oh, there's another bunch of them. Yeesh. This is why... Mopping up can be a painful endeavour. Done! Whew! Again, Indian faction, I'm afraid. That was a video on my phone playing about a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Don't render any illusions as to what that is. It's someone laughing at a dog. Oh. So they retreat, they retreat. You cannot chase them down entirely. But. Do that. Cool. Ah, oh, they can, I can reach them from the south. Well, that arm, anyway. No, you're all fine. You're fully replenishing? Yep. 4,300. I did all this in terms of investing. Oh, there's a village up there in Afghanistan. Maz Mazari Sharif. Are you growing? You are! 63 turns. Ah, Indian mercenaries. Um, anyway, looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed that battle. There's a bit of a grind, but that's the Indians for you in this game. And yeah, well, see you in the next part.